Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of my top favorite Cydia tweaks for the iOS 13.5 Uncover Jailbreak. Now, if you have yet to jailbreak, you definitely need to, to install anything we're about to get into. So be sure to visit our in-depth jailbreak tutorial linked in your cards now, as well as down below in the description. Also, if you love jailbreaking and all things related to jailbreaking, and you wanna stay in the loop for not only this latest Uncover 13.5 jailbreak, but also future jailbreak utilities, be sure to subscribe and ding that notification bell if you have yet to. And also having said that, everything we're about to get into, all of the tweaks, the source for one of said tweaks, which is really only one that comes from a non-default source or repository, can be found on the article that is linked down below in the description on best tech info. It's the very first link. We do this simply because it's easier to organize everything. And as one last prelude or preface for this video, I wanted to mention that we put out so many top tweak videos and we try our best to focus on not only quality, but but also quantity. However, in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys a list of roughly 10 or 11 of my favorite and must have Cydia tweaks that I install right out of the gate and I recommend for most new jailbreakers as well. So it's basically what to do after you're jailbroken, what to get from Cydia once you're jailbroken. So having said that, let's just delve straight in. First up, we have two tweaks that essentially modify how you use Cydia and Cydia's usability. One of my favorites is called Swipe for More and essentially it lets you find packages, whether they're already installed on your device or you actually search for them and then when you swipe over on them it does exactly what it says it allows you to have additional actions without actually having to tap into them so you know how normally you'd have to tap on install in the upper right hand corner and then confirm that or in this case since I already have it installed modify and then you have a few options there based on what's available for that package yeah well now that can be accomplished with swipe for more so essentially you can start queuing different different actions. What I mean by that is when we swipe on cylinder, for instance, if I want to reinstall it, I can just tap on the blue and you can see that it gives me the option to reinstall immediately. However, if I wanted to go like, for instance, files are right here and I wanted to queue that up, I could tap on the orange option there and then it's going to add it to my queue. So now let's do that with these two packages and for the sake of things, we'll do it with the third one and then tap on the blue option and you can see now it brings up the option to reinstall all three of those packages. It's super easy and the same applies if you don't have anything installed at all and you're just finding it through the search tab. I just merely went to installed for the sake of this video and for demonstrational purposes. Now Flame is also another awesome tweak that modifies Cydia and essentially what it can do or the thing that I use it for the most is essentially to install bulk repositories. So now you'll notice that when we go to our sources section, followed by edit and then add, we have a new batch mode at the bottom. This will allow us to add multiple sources at a time. And it's very, very handy for us, especially when installing a large number of tweaks on our device at a single time. Since nowadays, so many tweaks come from so many different repositories. And it's actually great for you guys as well, because what you can do is go to one of our articles, copy all of the repositories that we have on an article on best tech info, and then go into the sources section, add them in batch mode, and it should even automatically detect that you have those links copied and it will add them all in one fell swoop instead of having to add them individually. It is so crucial to installing multiple tweaks at a time. For the personalization segment of this video, we have two tweaks that spice up the default iOS 13 experience to say the least. You can see here that my icons are definitely not stock. Let's go inside of settings. This is accomplished via snowboard. Once it is installed on your device, you simply go to your settings application, navigate to it, and then you can select themes. Now I have and recommend two themes. These are my two personal favorites. One is classic iOS, which is currently not enabled. It gives you the default iOS 6 look, which is honestly quite a throwback. And then also little. This, however, unlike classic iOS, is a paid theme. 
It's really quite beautiful. It includes a lot of custom icons for apps that are both stock slash available on the App Store and also from Cydia. But essentially to enable one of these themes or any theme that you download from Cydia that is, all you have to do is just tap on enable and then simply disable whichever theme you had previously enabled. If you didn't have anything enabled, you would just tap on enable and then you can apply the changes. And best of all, you don't need to respring. It just instantly applies. So you can see here we have that throwback iOS 6 look I was talking about. The next one is Cylinder. Now this is great. I always install this on every jailbroken device out of the gate. It's basically custom page swipe transitions. So you have all of your settings available inside of the settings application for that and the customization options are endless. You can mix and match different effects for well an endless possibility. And now something that adds just kind of a cool factor to your device is pencil charging indicator. And this basically just pops up with a little indicator that your device is charging and its battery state. There are a few options available inside of settings. Now next, we are approaching the utilities segment of this video. These are things that I find useful and again, need on my devices every time I jailbreak them. So first in this segment, we have Power App. Power App is fantastic. It allows you to simply with just one tap, reboot, shut down, respring, enter substrate safe mode, enter substitute safe mode, refresh icon cache, or lock your device. So as you can see here, I'm just going into safe mode and then we are just going to restart the device's springboard. So Power App is something that I use all of the time, especially if I want to just reboot into my device's non-jailbroken state. That is by far the easiest method of going about it. Now we have iCleaner. iCleaner is a pretty good one. There are a few different options available inside of iCleaner, but I really just use it for one thing. If you're not careful here, you can have some unintended consequences such as deleting message attachments. Uh, so you definitely need to be careful about what you have toggled on when you go to use iCleaner. I just really recommend it for clearing up unused dependencies. So if you install a lot of tweaks and then you go to uninstall tweaks, chances are most of the time those tweaks that you uninstalled had dependencies that will not uninstall when you uninstall the main tweak itself. So doing this, it will essentially scan for dependencies or packages that are not being utilized and it will remove them. So it's fantastic. You can also use it to clear OTA software updates that may have downloaded in the background on your device inadvertently. Now next we have something that is definitely not for the faint of heart that I really don't recommend using unless you know what you're doing. It's snapback. It allows you to create new var or root snapshots and then restore back to them. So I really only use it to essentially create root snapshots. That's what it's mostly intended for for us on the channel here because we can set custom tweak configurations. For example, I'm currently restoring it to my no tweaks snapshot. And uh, while it is called no tweaks, there are a couple of necessities that I have just for managing tweaks and reverting back to different snapshots. Now, I love this because what I can do is create a snapshot like this one called no tweaks. And then I can use the next two tweaks I'm about to get into to actually install tweaks in batch on top of that. So custom configurations that I have. So all all three of these tweaks are very useful for us when managing a large number of tweaks and also configurations and the possibilities are really endless but you need to be so super careful with this because if you don't know what you're doing you can end up potentially jeopardizing your device's jailbroken state but just pay attention to any and all of the warnings that you see inside of snapback follow the instructions and you'll be good to go but uh, yeah don't hold us accountable for any potential data or jailbreak loss here. Um, it, like I said, it's not for the faint of heart, but I really recommend it. It's really useful if you know what you're doing and if you simply follow the instructions. Filesa is one we mention all of the time here on the channel. It allows you to browse through different directories on your device. You have access to the full file system. You can do things like zip or unzip different files, manage things you download from mobile Safari, install devs, AKA tweaks or packages, respring. I mean, the possibilities here with files of file manager are literally endless, but like with iCleaner, probably even more so, you need to be careful with 
with what you do. Although it looks innocent on the surface, if you go browsing through your device's file system and delete something, it can have very, very negative repercussions. Again, possibly causing you to force a restore and thus locking you out of your device's jailbroken state. Definitely just do not browse through your file system and go haphazardly deleting things. That is something you do not want to do. And that leads us straight into our next package or utility and the second to last one, Batchomatic. Now Batchomatic is very useful because like I said, it allows us to create tweak configurations and restore to them. Also, if you want to essentially unjailbreak your device, it's a great idea to back up your packages first. We did an in-depth and a detailed tutorial on Batchomatic in our unjailbreak guide, so I highly recommend watching through that. I will have it linked down below in the description. But yeah, it's super easy, super convenient, super helpful to essentially save certain tweak configurations and jump between them. And this in conjunction with Snapback is just the perfect combination for enabling you to do so. And finally, we have Zebra. If you want something that's a little bit Bit more modern and updated than Cydia, you can actually install Zebra. So this comes from the official Zebra repository, and it is essentially a package manager that is intended to replace or at the very least run alongside Cydia. So you can see here how simple things are, and it actually does even include a few features that we need to add to Cydia with packages by default out of the gate. So as you can see here, it has a nice and sleek interface for queuing packages and also even installing them. It looks familiar, it looks like Cydia, but it's just a little bit nicer, updated, cleaner, has things such as featured packages and includes certain abilities that Cydia doesn't out of the box. So you should check it out if you're interested. And that concludes my top essential Cydia tweaks to install and my personal favorites and default packages to get set up on every brand new jailbroken device out of the gate. I hope you guys liked this video. Up next, we're going to play a segment from our top 100 plus free Cydia Tweaks video. I highly recommend watching through that if you still haven't satiated your appetite of tweaks with this video, because these are just the basic bare bones ones that I do recommend. That can both be found in your cards as well as down below. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.